Hi there, uh, Colleen Adrian here. Um, why does your child need to learn things the hard way? Um, and usually that means instead of listening to our advice as parents, right? This is something that I heard uh, from my parents who were often exasperated because I did something my way instead of listening to their advice. Um, and I totally know their intention was loving and that they could probably foresee something or thought they could foresee something at the very least um, that might be untoward and they wanted to um, save me some difficulty or prevent, um, pre prevent some kind of an outcome that they thought would be unpleasant for me. So I get that the intention is really good. Um, and the underlying message, of course, when we um, ask this of our kids or when we wonder why our kids are doing this is that if we had just listened, if our children had just listened to um, the parents' advice, that things would be would have been easier or maybe there would have been a better outcome, okay? And maybe in some cases it would be easier or there would be a better outcome, who knows? Um, but I know, for instance, that when I was a child, I was spirited, I was sensitive, and sometimes I needed to follow my instincts um, in between um, the people-pleasing habits that I also had at times. So, um, so now that I'm raising kids for myself, and I've been doing that for a few years, I can see the value in learning, you know, what might be called the hard way, but I don't see it as the hard way. I see it as experiential learning and it has benefits. It can be super helpful. And here's why. Sometimes our kids need to follow their own guidance. Okay. And they need to be able to feel into what feels right for them. And they need to be able to feel the results. And if we don't um, intervene or interfere, they'll actually do that quite naturally, right? They'll follow their own um, intuition or their guidance. And of course, the only time that we'll inter um, interfere with that, um, the only time that it's good to interfere with that is if there's if your child is still quite young and there's a safety issue at hand, right? But the feeling into the results actually, <clears throat> excuse me, helps them to know deeply in their heart and their gut what they want and they don't want and that's not a bad thing okay they need to learn by feeling and that actually lays down nervous system wiring and a knowing on a much deeper level than through learning by being told so let me say that one more time they need to learn by feeling and learning by feeling actually lays down nervous system wiring and a knowing on a much deeper level than learning through being told. <clears throat> so it's valuable. And if we as parents criticize or judge their need to learn in this way or to try things out in this way, then when something doesn't turn out well, they'll tend to hide the outcome and their feelings, right? Because they don't want to be judged. They don't want... Um, you know, they don't want to hear anything that sounds like, you know, maybe I told you so, or you should have done it my way or whatever. And, and who can blame them, right? That doesn't feel very good. So here's the benefits. If we can help our kids to notice their feelings, um, and I guess this is what you can do to, as well to support your kids with this. If you help your kids to notice their feelings and honor their need to follow their instincts, these are the things that'll happen. They'll gain experiential learning that lasts, right? Because of that way it lays down in their memory and in their nervous system wiring. They'll be less likely to seek others' approval rather than following their own hearts and their own instincts. They will be more willing to share their feelings with you, even when they make a mistake or even when something turns out um, not so good, not how they had hoped. Um, because they know that they won't hear, you know, well, if only you had or if only you hadn't, right? Um, they feel safe to share those things with you and you can have an ongoing conversation. And they're also more willing and likely to ask for help uh, when they feel like they need it ahead of time. Essentially, you'll be helping them to stay connected to their heart and their intuition and to live more authentically than instead of people pleasing. And it'll also really support the connection in your relationship. So I'm curious about how that lands for you. Um, and I'm also curious if you care to share, just pop it into the comments below, I'm wondering if you or your kids need to learn through feeling or experience. Was that your experience as a kid? How did that go? Um, 
How does that uh, play out in your relationship with your kids in the um, present time frame? So thanks for listening, and I hope it was helpful.